This is the third of four videos on the case study of Mumbai. The other three parts are linked in the description. This video will explore the many challenges faced in Mumbai slum Dharavi. Dharavi's extremely dense population means living space is very cramped. Some houses are home to over 20 people. These houses often contain asbestos and are flammable and they are close together which worsens fire risk. The land they are built on is low lying meaning there is a risk of flooding during the monsoon season and furthermore Dravi is a squatter settlement which means the residents have no legal rights to the land they are building on. Pollution is very high, there are many toxic fumes and water pipes are located next to dangerous chemicals and sewage pipes. There are also rivers of rubbish, sewage and human waste. This dirty water is the same water that is used for daily activities including washing clothes. There is a major lack of sanitation. 500 people share each toilet, meaning many people just go in the street. There are 4,000 cases of sickness a day, including cholera, typhoid, diphtheria, and tuberculosis. Many of the jobs in the slum are informal, which means they are not taxed and therefore this money cannot be used for services. Many of these jobs also have terrible working conditions, with workers having no safety equipment and being barefoot, while surrounded by carcinogens and toxic chemicals. Child labour is also used. In the next and final video on this case study, we will look at redevelopment efforts in Dharavi.